It looks a little bit different out here now, huh? I filmed that last video only like eight days ago where it was super nice, crispy fall weather, beautiful outside. And then about two days after that, we got absolutely smashed with snow. So I guess winter's here and this is what the next four, five months of life here is gonna be like. Welcome to Canada. Things are moving along here quite nicely though. Everything from the old place is now moved into the new one, which is a huge weight off of mine and everyone else who's been helping shoulders. I have a lot of shit, apparently. I didn't even realize it, to be honest. The last of it all showed up yesterday, so now we've got everything here for the vinyl portion of the shop, which is really awesome, so I can start setting all this up sometime in the next little while, but this is a later problem. We've got bigger fish to fry today. With everything now being here from the old shop, this place got a hell of a lot messier than it was the last time you saw it. There is stuff everywhere. This is so painful to me. And I was just told that my brand spanking new auto and a whole bunch of other cool shit is gonna be delivered here tomorrow morning. I know I said I was gonna start working on uncreating this thing in this one, but I mean, the auto's showing up, man. That's the, that's the main feature. That's what we've all been waiting for. So we're doing that early instead. That thing can wait. So with the auto showing up tomorrow, I need to make some kind of a dent in this whole disaster immediately. Because in order to get that thing in here and all the other stuff that's coming with it, all of this has to shimmy around somewhere else. I gotta start putting this whole thing together as fast as I can and get things out of the way. That thing is big and there's a lot of parts to it. Plus there's a whole bunch of other stuff on that truck. So everything in here is gonna have to shimmy around one way or another just to get that stuff in the door. I don't know exactly where to start. So I'm just gonna start doing stuff. So I'm kind of thinking this corner right here is where I'm gonna start off because this is a lot of space taken up that I can fix pretty quickly. I think I'm gonna put the ink shelf together and get all that ink off the floor and onto it and and get another one of these stainless steel tables put together so that way the ink mixing area is kind of done. I also have a whole pile of these stainless steel tables to put together. I think I got eight of them. So maybe I'll put a few of them together right now and get them placed where they're gonna go and get some of the small stuff up and out of the way and then start working on the washout area because there's a whole pile of stuff over there that doesn't even need to be in here. Plus the crate for the washout booth is massive and it's sitting right where the auto is gonna go. So that's gotta go somewhere else. That's definitely a high priority thing. And then maybe, maybe if there's enough time, I'll try and uncrate that washout booth. It's a big one man mission today. Let's do this. Ink area complete for now. Anyways, I know I'm gonna have to do a bunch of dicking around with the way that I arrange that stuff on there because I don't have time to do that right now. I just made sure that my mixing system stuff is the most successful because that's what I use every day. And the couple stock colors like white and black that's used every day also. The rest, I just piled on there just to get it the hell out of my way. Pretty decent though. And those stainless tables, that was a great idea. I also touched all of those damn ink buckets and that's all I got on me. Clean your damn ink buckets, kids. Anyways, I can already feel my body tapping out right now. I've been lifting so much heavy shit all day today and moving around a ton. My battery level is at like 6%. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna skip putting those extra tables together and doing the whole computer station area because that's not really that important right now. What I do need to do is get those big ass white cabinets the hell out of my way and get all that corner of the shop cleared out get the crates from this side of the shop over to that side, and then get all the rest of the stuff that's kind of laying in the middle of the floor over to this area that I just cleared out. And then we should have enough room for the auto and all the cool stuff coming with it to come in here tomorrow. Man, I am glad I bought this pallet jack because it has been coming in clutch since I moved in here. But we're all clear for the auto to come in here tomorrow, so hell yes. I kind of feel like a little bit of a pussy for calling it quits early right now, but dude, I'm tired. I've been busting ass doing something literally every day since I moved in here like three and a half weeks ago, so I've earned some couch time. So I'm gonna pick this back up tomorrow. Today's the day. I just got word from the truck that it's down the street. This is exciting stuff. Uh, 
I gotta mention real quick that I definitely messed up all that footage that you just saw. Thought I was filming in that nice 120 FPS slow motion. Definitely was not. I was filming in 24, but had an absurdly high shutter speed as if I was. So that footage probably looked like ass. I apologize. I haven't made a camera fuck up like that in a really long time. That's because I was so damn concerned about getting all of this stuff off of that truck. Dude, that was sketchy FedEx, dude. They packed that truck like a bunch of knuckleheads and they broke the absolute shit out of all these pallets in transit. So yeah, I'm just happy the machines came off the truck without any major problems happening. But anyways, cats of the bag now, we went green. Obviously I was going green, come on now. We'll get into why I went green, what press I got and what's in all these boxes in a minute. But first, kind of want to get that thing unwrapped and get that busted ass pallet out from underneath it, which I'm not sure how I'm going to do that by myself just yet. Might need to use a little bit of redneck ingenuity. And yeah, let's hope I know what I'm doing with the camera this time. <laughs> I knew this girly little chainsaw would come in handy. I'm gonna figure out where this big bastard's gonna go. Again, super happy I bought that thing. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this. This is the print heads, pallet arms, pallets, and whatever else is in there. I don't know about you, but these boxes, they look pretty heavy to me. I don't know, I guess I'm gonna find out. I should probably unwrap this get the straps off and try to lift one up. Man, I'm a little worried about this. You see the way this thing is leaning right now? I kind of feel like these straps are holding this whole thing from falling the fuck over. And it's not like this is gonna be a small drop either. I'm six foot two and this is, well, a couple inches taller than I am. So yeah, I'm not sure what I should do right now. Well, I think I'm gonna do what I always do and just let's see what happens. <laughs> Oh, that is real uneasy right now. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Let's see how heavy this is. Ugh, holy shit. Whose bright idea was it to pack these things like this? <laughs> We're gonna need like four people to lift this off. So yeah, each one of these boxes has gotta be at least 400 pounds because that's definitely heavier than any motorcycle or snowmobile I've ever tried to pick up. And obviously I'm by myself right now, so. I think these may have to wait. Actually, I kind of want to look inside one first and see if maybe there's something I can figure out here. I feel like I'm gonna get crushed to death. I'm moving the fuck out of the way. <sighs> That's probably a smarter plan. All right, so we got two print heads in here. I don't think there's really gonna be an efficient way for me to do this by myself or even a way that's possible for me to do this by myself. <sighs> Come here, there we go. I cracked open the box next to it and it's all pallet arms. So this I can deal with by myself. I can just hand bomb these things out of here one at a time. So I'm gonna get these things out of here and get this top box off and then maybe I can shimmy that other box that's on the other side over to this side and stop that whole crazy lean from going on. Cause I feel like if that sits there for a while, it's going down. Let's get to work. Well, at least I was able to make a little bit more progress by myself. But yeah, we're team green, baby. Like I was gonna go with anybody else. Ryonet really jumped on board big time and they're definitely backing up what I'm trying to do here on the channel. So yes, if you're thinking it, full transparency between me and you because I don't wanna bullshit you guys. The screen printing part of this operation going on here is sponsored. And I'm gonna fully let you guys in right now. So uh, for the past year, year and a half or so, word has really started to spread, I guess, throughout the industry as to what we're doing here on the channel, which is super awesome. And because of that, I had been approached by pretty much most of the manufacturers out there because they see it as a prime advertising opportunity. Who wouldn't want their product being seen by the amount of people that see these videos? That's advertising 101. I was offered some that were kind of hilariously bad and I was offered some that were completely insane, like unbelievable. And it's it's crazy to me that I'm even in this position. It's, it's something that I'm definitely super, super grateful for. But at the end of the day, what it comes down to for me is loyalty, hands down. No matter how big anyone's checkbook is, loyalty is number one. And Roundnet has been in my corner since day one of starting this whole thing. I think I had only had like three or four videos out at that point. They reached out to me and said, hey man, we saw what you're doing. We think it's really cool. Is there any way that we can help you out? Which is amazing because literally at the same time, I had seen other people in the industry 
manufacturers, whatnot, literally talking shit about what I was doing. So to have these guys reach out and say what you're doing is cool and we wanna help out, was amazing. And ever since then, they've been backing me up with pretty much whatever I need to continue making this channel bigger and better for everybody, whether it's product or equipment to continue making these videos better or advice or troubleshooting. You got guys over there like Colin who are absolute print ninjas helping me troubleshoot things or giving me advice for like two, three hours on the phone sometimes doing absolutely crazy shit like giving me my own signature model squeegee, which I still can't believe is a real thing. That's so amazing. Or you got dudes over there like Ronald who will just call me once a week for no reason at all just be like hey man how you doing what's going on it's it's cool completely non-business related stuff like i've developed a real relationship with the people over there and on top of all of that awesome stuff that they do they continue to do it while i get to say what i want to say and be who i want to be which is the rarest of the rare i can tell you from firsthand experience that sponsorship is usually followed by censorship and bought and paid for opinions are right behind those and that's definitely not how i operate i want to be as real and authentic with you guys as i can be at all times and they back me up on that 100%. So because they've done so much for me and showed me so much loyalty, I'm going to show that loyalty in return. So when it came time to start getting things figured out for the shop and figuring out what equipment was going to go in here, they asked, hey, can we put a rock in that shop? And the answer was, fuck yeah, let's do it. And it also really helps that I was kind of leaning towards one of these things anyways. I've been eyeballing these machines for years. I think they are so cool. And some of the bigger shops that I look up to and aspire to be one day, three out of five of them are running green machines in there. So it's kind of a no brainer for me. So as for the press itself, this is a Rock U. It's an eight color, 12 station press. We both wanted to put a bigger press in here right from the jump, but that didn't really line up the way we wanted. With the way things are going in the world right now, things are just taking way longer than they should to get made. Plus, rocks are made in Portugal, so it would have had to come across the Atlantic to get here, and we all know what's going on with shipping right now. So it would have taken an absurd amount of time for a brand new press, the one that I wanted built to my spec, to get here, which is time that I just don't have. So they said, hey, no worries, we got an idea. We have a press in our inventory right now that just came out of another shop. So this thing is actually used. I don't know if you can tell. There's a there's a couple things in it, but they said, we can get this thing up to you super quick. You can get to work, do what you need to do. And in the meantime, we'll do what we need to do on the other press. And when the time comes, we'll do a switcheroo. So obviously I said, yeah, let's do that. Super amazing that they're willing to do something like that for me to keep my clients happy and to keep making videos for everybody. So the new press, I'm gonna keep a secret until that day comes because, you know, I gotta build some suspense. This is YouTube after all. And in the meantime, we're gonna be putting a lot more miles on this thing. Obviously, we're still a little ways away from firing this thing up though. I gotta get my phase converter installed sometime next week. I still have to order an air compressor, which is something I haven't even done yet. And of course, I gotta get a rock tech over here to put this whole thing together and get it running. So we're still a few weeks away from that thing doing anything. But in the meantime, there is a ton more stuff to do in here, obviously. Look at this place. There is a lot more really cool stuff to uncrate and set up. Obviously, there's that big one still. There's all this awesome stuff that showed up today with the press there's a couple more crates back there there's some more stuff over here and there's some more stuff on the way right now so we got a lot more videos ahead of us setting this place up oh, this place got so much messier in the last couple days i feel like i went two steps forward and 10 steps back that means i gotta get back to work so make sure you drop any questions comments whatever for me down below i'm always answering pretty much all of those subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and me and my awesome new print robot friend We'll see you in the next one. See ya.